What's up, fellas? So a lack of decisiveness is what's wrong with a lot of men, or a lot of young men, especially. They wander, they don't know what they want. Socially, they don't know what they want. With their ladies, they don't know what they want. They're, they lack assertiveness. They lack the drive they need to create the life that they want. So this isn't me condemning how they are acting or or living or whatever. This is just reality. If you're gonna live a, pr a productive, pur purposeful, uh, great, accomplished life, you need to become assertive. So in this video, we're gonna we're gonna go through seven ways to become more decisive. That is making faster, more assertive decisions, and kind of getting what you want from life. Uh, life is it's full of of people that get beat down, people that get pushed around. People that become cynical, which is the worst thing that you beco can become. And then there's guys that are getting after it. There's guys that are winning. There's guys that are, are embarking on adventures, helping people, doing or living really good lives, living great lives, powerful lives. I know you want to be the, la the latter, not the former, and decisiveness is a must to live a great life. So let's get into this. All right, step number one, take note of this. Uh, uh, carry a journal with you so that you do this. Uh, every day, every decision that you make, start making them faster. This is especially for the little things. Order your food immediately. Uh, choose a meal immediately. Choose what video you want to watch. Choose what movie you want to watch. Choose what you want to do with your lady on a date. Choose what workout you're going to do. Make a quick decision and then have the confidence to see it through. By practicing making quick decisions, you're going to make faster decisions with the bigger things in life. It's, it's just, it's correlational. One will lead to the other. So practice making smaller decisions quickly. Second, practice sticking to what you decide to do. So when you make a decision, see it through to the end. Choose one book to read and don't switch books halfway through. I do this a lot, so this is something I have to work on. Choose one book and read it to its end. Choose a movie to watch. Choose whatever you're going to do. Make that decision. But then don't just act on the decision. See it through to the end. Three, spend a day deciding what you really want from life. Write down your ideal. Write down your biggest goal. Or just write down your dream day and then reverse engineer what you need to accomplish to achieve that dream day. Decisiveness demands clarity of purpose. You need clarity of purpose. I think it's Think and Grow Rich, but he's got this little note where, here, I've got it in my book. He had this little exercise. I think this is from Think and Grow Rich. It's my chief definite aim. So I, your name, will become whatever you want to become. I will have X amount of dollars in the bank by this date. Write down that chief definite aim, look at it every day, and then every action in your day should lead to that chief definite aim. Number four. Determine the virtues that you hold the, in the highest regard. De determine the virtues that you want to live as or that you want to have as a part of who you are. Write them down and tick them off every day that you live them. Uh, Benjamin Franklin did this the best. He had, I think it was 13 virtues, could have been 12, but I'm pretty sure it's 13. He wrote each virtue down, had a day for each column, and then every day put a dot to see if he accomplished it in that day or not. So determine what virtues you want. Do you want courage? Do you want decisiveness? Do you want assertiveness? Do you want uh, discipline? Determine the virtues you want, make a little description uh, of the virtue and how it applies to your life, and then every day in your calendar, tick it off. Make sure you're doing these things every day. You're not gonna do each of them every day, but determine the virtues you want every day and live them. That will help you determine your actions. When you know your virtues, you know who you are, you know what you stand for, so then you're gonna be able to choose with a much more decisive nature. So this is a big one. I was having a conversation with the lady the other day and uh, I said that we were talking about taking risks and I, I said over the years, because I failed a fair bit, I'm gonna fail again tomorrow, in the future, it's just the nature of taking risks. Uh, I said that I'm, I'm confident in, in my ability to take risks because it's not that I know I'm gonna succeed in what I'm doing. What I'm doing may be the wrong thing, 
but I know that no matter if I fail or succeed, I'm going to be able to climb back up. I'm going to be able to, to rise back up from whatever uh, defeat I find myself in. I know part of that's faith. I've got, I'm a, a Christian, been a Christian for a long time. Part of that, that uh, belief in the ability to pick yourself up comes from faith, whatever your faith is in yourself, in, in God, whatever. Um, and part of it just comes from being at the bottom and then rising. But have faith that you can pick yourself up from any kind of failure, any depth, and that you will rise above it and that you'll learn from it and that you're failures aren't permanent. When you have that faith, decisive action becomes a lot easier because you're not making your decisions from a, a position of worry, fear, or hesitation. You're making it from a position of strength and that's when you can make take decisive action and carry it through. All right, the last one is, is a bit of a challenge. So stop thinking, start doing, and make a big decision right away. Make a big decision right now. Book a trip start a book, start a website, start a business, ask a lady out, do whatever. Make a big decision right now, something, uh, walk toward something you fear but you want to do and get after it. That is a, a, a big step for making decisive action. Conquer one single fear right now, today, and get after it. With that, decisiveness has a lot to do with discipline. So with that, I've got an awesome program for you. It's called The Lost Art of Discipline. Click the link down below, learn more about this thing that has become a lost art. Discipline was once more of a norm, now it is, it's re almost removed from our society. We don't do, so we have our, our desires in life, our chief desires, what we want to live in life, or who we want to become. Now. In, in our current society, we have placed more important on our daily and momentary desires. We want to watch TV, we want to eat this, we want to eat that, we want to... whatever. These momentary desires often take away from our, our most important desire. The two have to align. If, you, if what you desire right now isn't in line with your chief desire in life, then don't do it. Discipline is a big part of that. So click the link below, check out The Lost Art of Discipline, and... Uh, I'd love to see you on the other side, and if you have any questions, just shoot me an email. I'll talk to you soon.